All right, so I'm getting ready for a nice Sunday shave. And I've got a care pack from the fine folks at Elysian. Now, in shipping, this box took a hit. It's dirty and the shipper just destroyed a little bit of this gift. But let me show you some details about the box. Everything about this company is just attention to details and class. So right here, I think that's a little dragonfly. You've got it on both sides. It comes in a nice box. Well, let's open it up. Now, when you order a product, when you receive a product, Apple really started this trend. But when you get a product, you want to get it in a package that makes it like a gift. And Elysian does a great job. Now there's a little personalized note. And first of all, shout out to Shannon and the fine folks at Elysian for sending along this product. This is a new release coming out on August 16th. You guys need to get over and support Elysian, but I'll read that later. Thank you for that note. Also in here for me as a, as a creator, I've got some marketing information. Aurelius, release date August 16th, which includes four ounce shaving soap, 100 milliliter aftershave splash, 50 milliliter aftershave balm, and 50 ml eau de parfum. Eau de parfum. <laughs> And it gives you some information on the fragrance notes. An elegant masculine fragrance inspired by the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. This fragrance is characterized by its contrasting sweet citrus and sensual wood elements. A scent that evokes strength of character, balance, and universal appeal. It also gives you the top, middle, and base notes, which is nice information when you're putting together a video. So best practice, all you manufacturers, when you send products out, send some marketing information. In here, beautiful blue with a thank you. Inside, you've got a darker blue and some nice material here to protect the products inside. And here is Aurelius. There's your shaving soap. Nice gold cap, beautiful label. They do it the right way. What is in here? Ah, nice. This must be the parfum. Look at that touch of gold. Very well done. Look at that touch of gold. This is your aftershave splash. Let's open up the soap. Oh, wow. Yes, the citrus is right there on the nose. Very, very nice. Love the tin. Love the gold cap. Love the product. I'm going to jump in the shower, get steamed up, cleaned up, and we're going to be shaving today with Henson's AL 13 Mild in a nice bronze. It sort of has that old school sort of design that kind of evokes Marcus Aurelius to me. When I thought about all the different razors I could use, I thought this would match up really nicely with the branding of this new product has an old school kind of Roman columns kind of design. So check that out. And it's been a while since I've used this. So I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to clean up, steam up, and we'll be back for the shave. And again, thanks to Shannon and the folks over at Elysian for sending me this care gift. Again, it drops on August 16th. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I'll also put it on the screen. Get over to the website and support 
because they make great products and great people. All right. Oh, and I'll also be using my favorite brush from Pacific Shaving Company, their Natural Core Candle with FM Brush. Beautiful synthetic badger filament here. This is the perfect diameter for me. It's nice, uh, easy to apply your lather. If you're new to wet shaving or if you're an experienced wet shaver, you'll love this brush and they're still available. Link in the description box below as well. All right, I'll get in the shower, I'll get clean, I'll get steamed, and then we'll get to shaving. All right, fresh out of the shower. I'm running probably about a week's worth of growth here. Uh, maybe a little less, maybe like four or five days. So let's get right into it. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, what I love about the Elysian soaps, first of all, I love the packaging. I love this slightly oversized uh, tin, I'll call it a tin, because I can just lather right in or create lather right in this tin. All right, a little bit of water, put that brush right in there and scoop up some of that delightful lather there. I'll add a little bit more water to the mix. A little bit more water. And I'll pick up pick up some of that. And I like to go right on to the face. Add just a little touch more water. Oh very nice. Got citrus right up front, but there's an earthiness to it. It's a complex layered scent here, guys. As you can see, it's slightly dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to the to the mix. I should have gone to the face with a little bit of near hot water, but I was so excited to get cooking with this. As you can see, it lays down a nice, creamy, luxurious lather in no time. Still a little on the dry side. I'll put a little bit more water on that brush. More water, more agitation, more foam. You get the point, but look at that. Creamy lusciousness now. Now there you go. That's the consistency I'm looking for. Slick, nice barrier of foam. I absolutely love a legion. All right, so this Henson razor is a CNC'd piece of aluminum. It's lightweight, it's ultra refined. There's a couple of like really geeky, like smart guys that created this, this company or this brand, or this product, whatever you want to call it. Very light. Now, typically I like a hefty razor because it helps you with the fundamentals, but the way this is designed, you can take a look at that. And the way the blade is cradled it's really designed to be kind of a, the perfect DE. Kind of insulate you from some of those foundational errors that a lot of people make. But here are the foundations. You want to be light with your pressure. You want to let the device do most, if not all of the work, drag across the skin. They tell you you want to have a 30 degree angle, but this is sort of built in with the Henson, as you can see. See that angle? And I'm gonna get right into it. I'm not playing around anymore. Light strokes with the grain of the hair on my face, and that is just divine. So the angle is sort of built in, you, you, foolproof. You really can't go much more than 30 to 35 degrees with this razor, and that's very nice. You get two sides of any double edge, use them both. And I'll make quick work 
of this side of my face before I rinse off. I'm gonna rinse. It's a very nice blade and lightweight. So it's good for older hands. Because those hefty razors, you know, it takes a lot of strain or it takes a lot of strength on those hands. And as we all get older, you know, it's gonna happen to all of us one day. Father time, undefeated, bastard. All right, here we go. Two sides of a double edge, use them both. Let's get down here. This is just a very, very mild razor. It's in the name, AL13 Mild. And you can opt for, I believe, a regular and a more aggressive Henson. But if you're going for a Henson, mild is probably a good idea. If you're new to wet shaving, this would be a good starter razor. It's not uh, at the bottom of the price segment or not the bottom of your, your pricing structure, but I think it's a nice razor for a newbie because it has that geometry that helps you get the blade really at the most effective angle to shave. Let's go back up to uh, yeah. It's a very nice razor guys. First pass is in the books. I'm gonna come up with some more near hot water. And we'll get ready for a second pass. Ah. Oh. The quality of these soaps, the subtleness of the scent and the layered scent different notes, very bright citrus when you hit the face, but as you layer it on, it gets, it's like a little golden musky, earthy flavor that you're picking up. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Beautiful job, Shannon. Good job, as always. Second pass, we're going to go cross grain. Oh yeah. This razor is great, easy. See how quickly I can get through this pass with no fear. Look at that, beautiful. Two blades or two sides to your double edge, use them both. So on the cross grain, you wanna to attend to the nooks and crannies. Get under the nose, around the lips. As a newbie though, if you're new to wet shaving, you wanna take your time. Get accustomed to shaving, let your face get accustomed to a different blade type and then you can rip once you, just like anything else, once you get the hang of it, you can rip it. Oh, this is a beautiful razor and a great soap. Plenty slick, easy to lather. Sublime. Scent. 
easy on the skin, never had any problems. Soothing, warm, beautiful. All right, two passes in the book. We're gonna go with our third and final pass. Again, a little near hot water between the third and between the second and final pass. I like to feel around to see where I may have missed, overstepped maybe a little bit. And it seems like I did a pretty decent job this time. So this is just a get right pass. Again, go back to that original pull of soap. Bright citrus up top, and then it warms on the skin. Oh, yeah. Nice. If I wanted a little bit more lather, just a little bit more water, more water, more agitation, more lather. That's the original pull from that tin. Creates this nice soap, more agitation, more water, more, more foam. If that's what I'm looking for. I like on the third and final pass to have a lighter application. Just my preference. This is my get right pass. I'm not trying to do too much here. Just trying to get any of those hairs straggler hairs that might be out of step. Oh yeah, nice. Beautiful razor, beautiful soap. On this pass, I'm not trying to do too much here. Taking my time and applying almost no pressure. Just let the, the device do the work for you and you'll be in good shape, guys. Let the device do the work. And you'll be in great shape. Let's hear it for the AL13, aluminum 13 from Henson. It's a beautiful razor. Let's hear it from, let's hear it for Aurelius. This soap is, ah, oh, just very, very, very nice, guys. All right, so now I'm going to rinse off with cool water, and we'll get to the aftershave splash. Now, you could opt for some of the shaving cream that's left over for your aftershave. So you could take all this that's left over, and you could apply this as an aftershave. Work it into the skin. But we have an accompanying aftershave splash. I love it when manufacturers make, you know, a complimentary aftershave. So why not have that scent linger throughout the day? So let's go with the Aurelius aftershave splash. Let's open this guy up. Oh, yeah. Uh, Another thing I love about Elysian is their aftershave splash has a little bit more octane for the long haul. So that citrusy warmth is punched up just a little bit more on their aftershave, but it leaves you nice, relaxed, golden, Warm, beautiful.
Again, I want to thank Shannon and the fine folks over at Elysian for sending me this product. Guys, it drops on August 16th. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I'll put the website information on screen as well. Get over, support this small artisan soap manufacturer. They also do fragrances and skincare and, and other products. Go support Elysian. Let them know the average guy sent you. And I'll see you clowns next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. You know what to do, guys. Keep pushing play. Now, Haley, roll the music. Thank you.